Next and last map we will talk about is Better Frost Frontier. This is a map you get from Chapter 3. All the sources we explained from before can be applied here. Gathering here is way better than any other map. You can get around 50 per character per day by simply gathering. If you go to the top left area of the map, you will find plenty of berries you can gather for the map currency. The merchant for this map is right above this waypoint. Just go upstairs and you will find him. Getting trinkets from Better Frost Frontier, which is the Chapter 3 map, is the easiest and fastest of all of them. You can get rings, you can get a back piece, and you can get one accessory. So if you want to just get trinkets quickly, and you don't care about swapping stats later, you should try to do that from Better Frost Frontier. You can just simply take 2 or 3 characters per day, go gather about 50 berries, and you will be able to buy a trinket maybe every day or so. Getting ascended trinkets from all the other Living Season 3 maps work exactly the same way. You have hearts, you can gather, you have some events, and you have reward tracks. Next source will be Living Season 4. Everything we explained from all the previous maps will work exactly the same way here. The only exception with Living Season 4 is that there is really only one map you should worry about to get your trinkets from, and that is Dragon Fall, the map you get with the last chapter in Living Season 4. Getting trinkets here is not really straightforward. They will be spread across the merchants at spawn. And each one of them will be able to only sell you items after you do certain events. So you will need to work around the map a little bit before you can buy trinkets from this map. Next source will be with Fractal Relics. If you are a player that do fractals every day, this will be your best source of trinkets. You can buy everything except a back piece. And the best thing is, the rings will already be infused and they are not unique. Same goes for the accessories. So you can have the same two rings and the same two accessories. This is one of the very few cases that you can have two of the same type at Ascended Trinkets. And what is even better is that just like Bloodstone Fen, you can change stats later anytime you want. Just use this capacitor, make sure they are unequipped, make sure they are in your inventory, and remove any infusions from them and then apply or consume this capacitor while you have your missed trinkets in your inventory and it will reset stats and you can change anything you want. The next source is by using World This Is World Claim Tickets. This should be the last method you can use because the tickets are very valuable and you can buy so many other things with them, including legendary armor. So don't buy trinkets using tickets unless you are absolutely desperate and you cannot buy them using the other methods. They work exactly like the fractal ones. 
they even have the same name. You can use two rings of the same type, two accessories of the same type, and you can change stats on them later. 